On today's episode of Parker's Reefs, we're going to stop in at Coral Madness to see what special little pieces they're sizzling up for Reef Stock Sydney 2019. Okay, so as some of you know, I was recently in Wollongong for some work and um, one can't go to Wollongong without stopping in at the great local fish shop there, Coral Madness. So uh, I popped into Coral Madness just to see what they had uh, in stock and uh, as you'll see in another video, I was also lucky enough to bump into the um, Red Sea uh, representatives there and check out the Red Sea Reef LED90. But um, let's focus on uh, what Coral Madness have got on uh, for us to have a look at here. The first thing you notice when you walk in the shop is this um, really cool uh, soft coral tank lit by a uh, Lou Magic Blaze. And um, to me, this is the sort of tank that just is a grounding moment. It just proves that you don't really need to have any showpiece corals or fish to make something look incredible. Um, no disrespect to um, the team with this tank. It, it it's only being honest to say there are no um, show-stopping corals in there, but the tank as a collective is show-stopping. It um, just really signifies what what reefing should be to me. Um, you don't need uh, fancy fish or fancy corals. You just need a fancy tank, and this um, is just uh, it really took my uh, breath away. It's a it's a really cool tank and a, a really good fish tank to have right at the front door because I imagine. Um, the team here at Cold Mad Coral Madness get uh, flooded with questions by newcomers coming in looking at that tank. But let's move on to the coral because we're here to have a look to see what uh, pieces they've got and what special stuff um, they're going to have at uh, Reef Stock Sydney 2019. So there's a nice little selection of gonoporias here, um, a really nice couple of variants of bubble corals there. You see a really small bubble and a large bubble, a huge assortment of um, elegance corals, some really cool uh, little cynarias down there and a um, crocodile island scully and a uh, nice little selection of green uh, bubble tips and it looks like a um, gigantia in the background there. But uh, let's have a look at this tank because this is where some of the really hot pieces are. There's some amazing Rhodactus in this tank. Um, you just, yeah, you'll have to see for yourself along with some really cool SB, um, not SBS, some really cool Zoas. You can see some of the trackies there absolutely popping. Even got some blastos along the front there, some small polyp blastos, some large polyp blastos, agans, a cool assortment of um, fungias. But uh, the real cool stuff's hiding up. There's a nice uh, recordia there. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff hiding up on the um, shelves along the back. So let's uh, have a look at that. Some of them may come up in the um, in the footage, the colors. Some of them may not. But let's just have a look. There's some uh, cool zoas there. I see some really nice uh, large polyp, maybe pallies there. Um, I'm going to apologize. I don't know the um, zoa names. But check out these um, Aussie Bounce. Um, I believe they're a Rhodactus. They're really cool. Some nice Dallas frags there. Coming across some more variants of some um, various uh, Zoas. I keep wanting to call them SBS. Check out those uh, Blue Tongan Rhodactus. Got some nice uh, Digi frags there. And oh, check out these Rhodactus. There's um, some crazy nice bounces there. And uh, those blue stripe ones in the background. Um, just some really nice pieces. Um, what about this nice St. Thomas there with this incredible, I don't even know what the name of it is, but red with like orange flashes throughout it. And even hiding behind this um, leather here is some blue fluffy red actus. You don't um, come across them very often. You find the fluffy greens all the time, but not the fluffy blues. So um, yeah, this this is uh, some pretty cool stock. I'm really excited to see what the team are going to bring to reef stock um, because believe it or not, this isn't everything. They've got a tank out the back with some uh, secret stashes in there that um, I wasn't allowed to film, but I was allowed to have a little sneak peek at. And uh, let me tell you, when you're going to Reefstock 2019, make sure you make a beeline to the um, Coral Madness display. All right, check out this um, shark here. He's absolutely massive. And um, when speaking to the team here, they said that uh, he was in a... Um, I'm going to probably butcher this story, but he was in a uh, fish and chip shop that had been there forever and a day, and uh, they closed down and they were going to throw him out. So um, they've taken him on and going to try and find a home for him. Got this really cool um, orange spot file fish there, just incredible colors. Some nice uh, seahorses there. What else we got here? Nice little uh, six line wrasse by the looks. A huge abalone. Some cool starfish there. Uh, awesome lionfish. They always put on the best pose for the camera just to try and scare me off, but it just drags me in even more. And uh, let's see what else they got in the next bays here. 
All right, we've got some nice uh, gobies there. Looks like some chromas, some damsels. There's a nice uh, trigger in the back there. That looks like a nice butterfly. I'm not sure, is that a Singapore butterfly? Uh, what else we got here? All right, we'll come back over away from the fish now. I had a quick look at the um, dry goods. Got a good range of Hikari dry foods there. Um, no shortage of those. It's probably almost all the ones they make. You see the aquaforest foods there. Uh, what do we got? Ocean nutrition dry foods. Um, the full Red Sea range, which of course uh, with the Red Sea reps in, that was looking nice um, and complete. You see some continuum gear there, some quantum gear. Uh, what else we got there? The Aquaforest test kits, NIOS test kits, the Aquaforest uh, supplements and dry good range. Good range of uh, ATI and Red Sea lights there. Might be just Red Sea. And I'm just going to have a quick look at this display tank. Um, this is this is a really nice piece. As opposed to the uh, one at the front, which was all soft corals, this one's predominantly SPS. It's got a huge helio um, on the sand, but it's pretty much all SPS. And um, I apologize now, my phone doesn't really pick it up, but they've got some really nice colors going in there. And uh, I will be um, the first to say that uh, the uh, new Red Sea Reef LED actually really made the colors come out real quick. Um, so... I'd be curious to see what this tank looks like um, in another six months' time when um, the team here have had the new Red Sea Reef LEDs on it for a little while because, yeah, it looks like it might have some good colours. Anyway, let's keep going and finish off the um, dry goods. We've got the full um, API range there. Got the Blue Life treatments. Got some uh, Aqua One dry goods up there, some pumps and uh, entry-level skimmers. What else we got down here? Um, so a little bit of the dry, uh, sorry, not dry, of the uh, freshwater range. A good assortment of um, hang-on filters there. Got a good assortment of uh, air pumps. Some uh, entry-level lights just for like freshwater tanks or quarantine tanks. You get the uh, max spec nano bio blocks. Okay, we've got the uh, Reef Pure RO system. A couple of those in stock there, the Four Stage Essentials kit. It's really cool to see in a, um, in a local fish store because it's a good Aussie brand. Got some Macro One canisters there. And uh, my new friend, Eric. Um, from Hamali, he's got one of his sumps on display there, um, which is awesome to see because it's just absolutely class leading quality. Got some of his um, dosing containers there as well. Um, got some uh, Aquaforest media reactors there. Hope we get a review on one of those soon. And uh, also the Hamali resin reactor, which I may just have picked this unit up. Um, hopefully, be able to do a review on that. I want to run it for a fair while first so I can give you guys a good feedback on just how it goes. Um, looks like we've got some skimmers, we've got uh, some calc reactors there, which is cool to see in stock. Big external skimmer there. And I figured while I was here, I'll just show you the um, filtration system they're running on these tanks here. They're all pretty basic, um, which is encouraging to see because you don't need to have the um, absolute whiz-bang gear. We've got a whole heap of um, uh, ceramic media in there, looks like the uh, Max Spect balls. Fairly basic skimmer, um, you've got the Aquaforest... Um, uh, reactor there with some carbon and maybe some zeolites in it. Um, big chiller keeping that tank under control. Onto the next tank here, got um, similar sort of range of uh, just uh, media for this time we're using um, live rock, a much bigger skimmer. Uh, we've got another reactor in there with a bit of carbon and GFO in it, and again a chiller. But the um, big surprise of all, well, to me anyway, was um, my favorite display tank at the end here, which is. It, like we said before, the um, SPS, sorry, the LPS and soft coral display, which is just absolutely pumping. When we have a look at the filtration system in here, you might be surprised to see what they've got. So when you have a look at how healthy these corals are, you see the gonoporias stretching, the leathers and cynarias, uh, singularias are absolutely happy. Fish all look great. Even the frog spawn over there looks, um, he, he's just trying to take over. In fact, he's pushing right up against the... Um, uh, the elegant coral and are not fighting. So when we open up the sump and have a look down here, there's basically nothing. There's not even a skimmer. Got the overflow going through some socks. There is a uh, reactor in there, uh, aquaforest reactor with a bit of uh, their zeostone in there, and that is it. I'm not really running any filtration on this at all um, at the moment. I um, have been told that that's not the way this tank always runs, but uh, just goes to show that um, you don't need to have absolutely every gadget under the sun to have a thriving reef tank. This is um, set some new standards for me. But just before we go, we'll um, go back over some of these uh, corals that I'm desperate to see at um, restock. 
It's got a really nice Florida up in the back corner there. Some, um, what else we got? We got some really wicked Zoa varieties there, which I'm disappointed the um, camera just did not pick up the colors. There's a few pieces there that I just haven't seen. And granted, I'm not a Zoa guy, but um, they were varieties that I have not seen before and they were uh, really nice colors. The ones I'm really keen on though, are, um, these blue fluffies, they absolutely took my eye. I've never seen blue fluffies before. And again, the camera didn't really pick them up that great, but they are stunning. I love the, um, obviously the, the uh, Rhodactus there with the orange bounces on them. They're probably gonna be out of my price range, but um, wow, they are uh, something special. Not to be uh, outdone is the um, other Rhodactus at the back there with, um, uh, they're not orange bounces, but orange splash splashes. Got those uh, blue tongans there, absolutely stunning pieces. Look like they're hornets there, um, the zoas. And these Aussie bouncers, I've got no idea how much they're going to sell for, but I will be getting my elbows out to try and get hold of one of them. There's those zoas at the back there. If you look at the blue with the bright green frill, I've never seen them before. They might be common, maybe not, who knows. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and um, keep reefing. See you next time. Bye.